Hey guys isn't it great that after almost a year we are here sitting on the couch together. It feels like it's been one year and finally our winter vacations are back. We don't get to hang out much these days. So it's really amazing to be back. I was thinking about what we talk about something that we don't talk so frequently. Then we should play truth or dare or rapid fire. It will be damn cool. Who is with me? No games I think we should really use this whole time just for having a good time knowing each other much more better and closely. After all we are a band all together. So we should totally talk about our childhood. I will start with my childhood. It was back almost 10 years ago at that time I was the leader of a very famous club in our school. But wait Clover I really don't remember anything like that. Are you sure? Come on guys we want our unicorn club to rise high up. We really should put more efforts. Enough we are leaving Clover. We are pretty bored with your weird club and stupid dance moves. Unicorn club. This name is just like for 8 years old kids. We are 11 Clover you need to grow up. She and her stupid unicorn club. Don't worry Clover I will be with you. We will take our unicorn club in the heights of the clouds. No Clover we should join a new club or make a new club trust me it will be fun. Wow. So you left the famous cheerleading club to join or make a better club. That's the Clover I know. And I don't remember anything like that to be honest are you sure Clover? What happened next Clover which club you went to next? Welcome guys. You are the first two members of my new found sitting club. Here you just need to sit and waste your time thinking. That's all we do here. So have fun. Seriously? We just need to sit? And what? Waste our time? Great club. No Clover trust me just try and we will have so much fun in this club just sit and waste your time. Is this all we gonna do? Wow that's great Clover. That after cheerleading you went to the music club. Amazing. Yeah I wish if it was true. All I did was joining a stupid sitting club to waste my time. I guess now it is my time to tell you guys the story of my childhood. It was amazing, I was the captain of the basketball team at that time. People were fans of mine. We finally won the basketball championship once again we are the best. Hey guys what about me? You didn't even took me in the team. What you were in our team see you are wearing our jersey too. My jersey looks different from you all and I am left out player for supplying water and is can extra player for emergency purposes. That's because we care about you and what if you get hurt while playing? We can't take any risk. Now move away you are in our way Marty. Guys wait you can't leave me like this. Wow. That's great Marty. I wish if I could see you playing in your team. I bet you were a good player for which you were the captain of your team. Now it's time for my story. So I was a leader in my school everybody used to be afraid of me. I was good at everything.
Hey Rudy I heard you are a crybaby and a mama's boy too. Is it true you're dumb? Now get out of my way dumb. I don't wanna waste my time talking with you. Get the hell out of here. Well I will see where you're gonna go when our teacher gets to know about it. Guess what you are 11 and still sound like a 5 year old kid dumb. I will see you too in the class when ma'am won't be there. Well you have to do something about it Rudy. I am not gonna be always there for you. I can't do anything. I think I will be always a bullied kid. Nothing can help me. I have an idea Rudy. Why don't you run for the precedentship of the junior school? It will be damn cool. You can defeat him in the votes. What? That's impossible nobody is gonna vote me in it. So you were the leader of the whole school that's great and what happened in the elections? You are lucky that everyone loved you and no one used to bully you. So did you won either elections that you were on? I promise you guys. If you vote me you will get everything you want from 3 weeks spring vacations and 2 months winter vacations to free school accessories. I might be not strong as my competitor physically, but I can assure all of you that I am a stronger person mentally and together we can change this school and all those bullies. Together we all can stop bullies racism and everything that's happening. Now you decide do you want a bully to run the school? Do you want a dumb person like Justin to run school? Our new school captain or leader of the junior school is none other than the very special but very smart Miss Picuco from Portellini. Wow it's amazing so after all you won the election and became the leader of junior school. No the only person left here yet to tell her story is none other than Scarlett. So Scarlett start your story. So back in school days I was the famous girl in school whom everyone was dying to make friendship with. And the nerds used to hate me. Hey Brandon did you did today's homework? It was so easy of course. Those 100 sums were the easiest sums ever. See guys the nerds of our class are costing their time doing 100 sums for homework. They think that's the best homework ever. I would like to see your face when you fail in today's examination. Congrats Scarlett and Brandon you guys are the only ones who scored full marks. Rest of them hardly passed. Do not forget to sign your papers from Guardians Children's. Wow so you were so famous that the teachers used to give you full marks even if you were wrong? That's great Scarlett. I am glad that they don't know I was a nerd or else they would have laughed at me. I wish if I was like Rudy but I am glad that they don't know I was not the captain of the basketball team and that I was an extra player to serve water. Scarlett was so amazing in her school days. I wish if I was like her. I am happy that they don't know I was a leader of a stupid club named Sitting Club and Unicorn Club. I wish if I was like Marty then I would have surely been the great kid in school without being a stupid loser who was bullied every time.